Before you watch this video, make sure you press the like button, subscribe to my channel and to share with your friends. Let's go! Well, hello guys, welcome back to another graphic arc video and today I will be, we will be testing out, you know, this variable refresh rate from monitors and uh, if actually changing our refresh rate range lower than uh, what is on my monitor currently is 54 and uh, see if anything will actually improve but uh, as long as we are in this, within this range we will have a smooth experience so uh, why don't we test this out here we have resident evil 4 we are barely getting about uh, 54 fps which is within the range and as you can see we have a really a smooth experience here uh, walking around you know we can even look aim and we are still almost within the range but uh it's uh, pretty smooth all right but what happens if we limit the fps to 40 with rtss here do we still get a smooth experience hmm? see now we have 40 fps yeah, it's a bit choppy now, but uh, I mean, still perfectly fine. You can see some uh, tearing here and there. But uh, yeah, I mean, once you are out of range, I mean, one to three FPS, I guess it's still fine, but about about 10 FPS less than what your VRR range is, you will get some tearing for sure. But uh, what happens if we actually edit the range to a lower range? Maybe that will help. Let's check it out. So to do to you to do this, we will be using custom resolution utility 1.5.1 uh, version by Toasty X, and uh, all you gotta do is select here your output, which is the current active one. By the way, you can also set uh, you know color rate here, and it actually works. But I think you need Intel uh, Control Center from uh, Windows Store to actually set it. But uh, yeah, also do test this out, guys, if you have more than 8-bit monitor. But the main point is here. Look at this, we have here the refresh rate, what if we change this to 36, will it work? Okay, it applied, but uh, it's still not there because we need to press here restart for this to work. And uh, if everything is done correctly, let's check it out here now. We have uh, Intel Arc Control Center, if we go to display, we are still at uh, 54, what's going on? Let me quickly uh, do some uh, changes. Uh, okay guys, so I just had to actually restart the computer and apply the same setting again and uh, now we are actually at 36 Hz. What do you guys think? Will this now uh, work and uh, we will have a smoother experience at 40 FPS than we did before? Do know that modifying this uh, Hz range might uh, glitch your uh, sync, so uh, do test it out. If 36, let's say, won't work, maybe go a bit higher. Because back in the days, I remember I had NVIDIA GTX 1070 and this uh, free sync compatible came out and I had to edit this monitor's hertz rate from 54 to 48 in order for the G-Sync to work. But here we can go lower because it's, I guess, more compatible. I don't know. Let's check it out and see what's going on. No, oh, this Intel RK770 is one of the sexiest cards I ever had. <laughs> Don't you agree? Look at this beauty. Okay, guys, now we are back in the game and uh, I mean, god damn it, we are now at 40 FPS. And this looks smooth, guys. Look at this. Also, lo look. Do you see any tearing? Maybe, I mean, this is phone camera. You probably want to see. I don't see any tearing. What the hell is going on? Before we had tearing at 40 FPS, but now that we've edited the V-Sync range, I mean this variable refresh range, so we, god damn, it's working really good. Uh, Why don't we try 36 FPS and see what will happen? Guys, um, what do you think? Hmm? Look at this, we are running 30, 36 FPS, but I... Yeah. What's going on? I mean, in real, when I'm checking, it's uh, not tearing much. D guys, is this really working? I don't know. This looks good. Uh, will you be testing this out? Let me know down in the comments below. But uh, the best way is actually for you 
to test this out and to let me know because uh, you need to see this first hand, not through the camera that I'm recording here because it can't capture perfectly the things I'm seeing right now in front of me like you're seeing with my camera but uh, yeah do test this out guys change your refresh range and uh, lower your fps to the volume and uh, do the exact uh, lowest range that you have and uh, let me know how your experience is but damn this some games this card can't handle you know 60 fps at 4k but it can also drop to 40 fps but running like this I don't know guys, you tell me down in the comments below, make sure you like and subscribe if you want more tips like this and uh, see you in the next video, <laughs> thanks for watching.